in the lobby. Oh boy. A Snumo Merve release. Leading educators of the 50s and 60s believe that all boys need to know how to make letter openers, lead sinkers, and lawn signs, which proudly announce the name of a family which lives in the attached home. And so industrial arts classes were designed, manufactured, and distributed to the schools of America. Yet some dared to challenge this progressive and far-reaching vision. For them, we present Why Study Industrial Arts. Why are you? Because you're bad at math. <laughs> no student's arms were harmed in the making of this film. Someone got a doctorate in industrial arts? Loser. Thank you, Centron. Depressed yet? <laughs> you know, it's fun to have an idea. There, wasn't that fun? To be able to put that idea down on paper. I can't do it, but... Yeah, take shape in wood. Avoid taking real classes. <laughs> in metal. Why, you can make your own bomb in plastic or skin if you can get it yeah. or in leather who am I kidding this will never go with my outfit and you know I like the feel of a board moving smoothly against a sharp <laughs> saw and I thrust the nail into the soft yielding wood I like the smell of fresh wood chips and sawdust I put them in my underwear <laughs> The bright oh. glare of a welder. I like to sneak in and lay on the table saw. Yes. The sharp whine of a power tool. The piercing scream of a freshman. Oh. Or the dull tap, tap of tools on leather. Tat, 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 tat. I keep popular mechanics under I my like mattress. <laughs> Feeling of chaps with no pants. <laughs> a wrench. Let it go, man. Shop class was a long time ago. It's over. A plane. These tools are my friends. Or a chisel. Oh, what about girls, young man? No, girls. no, chisels. And I feel real good because I'm a craftsman. And not a killer. Because I can use my mind and my hands to create. Of course, I don't know if I'd ever tell my buddies all this. Because, <laughs> well, sometimes they laugh when you tell them things like this. Then they pants you and drag you around the track. Any talk of unions brings a threat of reprisals at this school. Hey, Joe, come on, let's have basketball practice. Come on, mate. Okay, but wait till I finish cleaning up here. Hey, you making this? I'm making it for the Grand Wizard. You know, this looks as good as furniture you'd buy in a store. It ought to. It's taken me long enough to make it. Kind of slow, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah but yeah. I've learned enough in making this one that I could probably make another in about yeah. half the time. Still, your Mexicans do it real cheap. I like this shop, of course, Joe. I like it swell. Why? Could you staple my ears well, back? Well, uh, didn't you ever wonder what good you'd get out of a course like this? Yeah, I did. As a matter of fact, I went to Mr. Barnes, the shop teacher, and asked him about it. He said that with the large amount of construction work that goes on... With the large amount of construction did, work that's taking did, place did. in our country's expansion, we need many more young men who are trained to design our future. We'll need architects. We'll take hair from the back of your head and we plug it into the top. Designers. A new fangle bong. <laughs> and draftsmen. Extruded plastic dingus. There. And Joe, we'll need scores of men who can translate and build those ideas on paper into the actual homes, churches, schools, and factories of the future. Uh, mm -hmm. We'll need engineers. I don't trust my wife made phone call for carpenters it. we'll need actors people who can read lines with and interact with Steel others workers crazy glue spokesman got it got it wow hot whoa -hoo. and plumbers i can't get this thing back in my pants earl we'll need men who can design the machines of the yeah. future and men who can build operate and repair these machines we'll need electrical engineers yes one of these in every home Pattern makers. But why the hat? Why not a kicky beret? Ooh. Foundry men. Oh, you never would believe where those Keebler cookies come from. Tool operators. Tool operators. Tool and mechanics. This came out of me. Uh, what do you make Ooh. of it? And Joe, these are just a few of the occupations I could name. That's right. All of these jobs pay well and afford challenges and chances of advancement to the individual. I want to be a hairdresser. But Mr. Barnes, the courses I take here won't actually prepare me for one of these jobs when I graduate, will they? No, you'll probably need more training by either going on to college <laughs> right. or 
by apprenticing yourself into one of the skilled trades. But believe me, Joe, the basic training you get in these courses now will give you a age of the fellow who hasn't had such experiences. Looks like he made his shirt out of wood. Well, that's what Mr. Barnes had to say on the value of courses like this. These bourgeois. Yeah, but you plan to be an engineer, Joe, and, and I can't see how industrial arts courses will do me much good if I should decide to go into business or something like that. You can't, huh? No. Me neither. Well, come on, boy. Let's go to basketball practice. And meanwhile, I'm going to set you straight on a few of the facts of life. <laughs> For instance, you know, no matter what job you go into after you graduate, your voice changes. You'll be able to use lots of the things you've learned in your industrial arts courses. No! 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 Turn it off! The whole cow got all the whole. will give you a basic knowledge of those operations. Maybe you'll be a farmer, mm -hmm. and knowing how to build improvements around the farm and how to repair all the equipment you use is a must for you in that operation. I forgot the door. Or you can go on in your studies and become an industrial arts teacher, like Mr. Barnes. Mm. He sure enjoys his work, work, and he told me that there is always a demand for industrial arts teachers, and crap? they're among the best paid in the teaching Give profession. me this. No! Wrong! Do it again! Hi, Bill. Hi, Joe. I'm not a communist. But, like you say, what if you should go into business or selling or something like that? Well, you'll still be dealing with material. You'll still have to be able to recognize quality material and quality craftsmanship. And it only weighs 500 pounds. <laughs> if you're in production, you'll have to know what materials and techniques can best be combined to give you a quality product at a low cost. Yeah, this makes the army look good. Look at this. Should I pop this? No. Nope. Bill, you're going to have to look... Far and wide to find a job that doesn't in some way or other use industrial arts. Top training. there, a pinup of Kathy well, Bates. Maybe so, but, hey, how about the coach? I bet he doesn't. You bet he doesn't what? Oh, hi, coach. Well, uh, well, we we were just talking. Uh, what about it? When you started making bets on me, I'm interested. Right. Well, we were talking about different jobs in which industrial arts training <laughs> is used, and well, Bill thinks he thinks the coaching isn't one of them, huh? Loser, well, give me no, 20. I took some industrial arts courses when I was in school. Look at me now. And except for some work on the gym floor and knowing a little bit about plastics and some other materials used in sports equipment, actually, it hasn't helped me a great deal with my coaching. See? Wait a minute. I'm glad I took those courses. Oh, we may have worked on Model A's instead of hot rods when I took my mechanics course. Of course. But in it, I gained a mechanical interest and know-how that stayed with me through all these years. Uh, boys, Friends, boys! I get in my car to go someplace. I can open I the door. I feel pretty confident that in case of minor trouble, I can fix it, or at least recognize its source. Help! Help me! I can't do anything about it. Help! Why the cat's in here? Recently, my wife and I bought a home. What are you doing? We felt much sure that we were getting our money's worth because of my experience with industrial arts. Get on up here, Sporto. Now, people like to whisper the word sinkhole around this neighborhood, but it's really not a problem, right? I could tell whether good quality wood had been used. Yeah, crummy. Well, we'll just paper this. Whether adequate electrical wiring had been installed. Okay, we can use a toaster or the lamp. I could tell what interior woods and finishing materials had been used, and whether these were likely to stand up under wear. Don, there's a lovely kill floor in here. Well, the previous tenant didn't flush. And since that time, I've done a lot of work on the house myself. I put a patio in the living I room. I built on a new room mm -hmm. and made a recreation room out of it. Most of the minor repair work that comes up around the house, I can take care of myself. Of course, when the house began sliding downhill, that there was a lots different of things story. I like to build now, but I just haven't got the time. But when I retire, I'll have a ready-made mm -hmm. hobby to keep me busy. I'll build giant recipe card boxes. You know, fellows, there's a feel about it that I like. His disciples. For being able to visualize something and then create it with my own hand. The semi-nude club. As a matter of fact, most industrial arts courses will help you in sports because they do help you to coordinate mind and body. Say body again, sir. Hey, this is basketball practice, not a lecture course. Who's this? The shop class version. I believe I will take a couple of industrial arts courses mm -hmm. next no. year. Fine, Bill. Say, uh, you're no shop man. How do you think my car would look? Well, if I uh, smoothed out the hood and put a new grill in it and, you know, made a real rod out of it. Great. So Just I let me go. Right. Please, yeah. please don't touch me anymore. Don't, no. This is the film the boys had to watch and the girls had to go to the gym and watch the other film. Mm, that one. <laughs> do, do, do.